Yeah, so let me just draw the circuit diagram that describes that I think that might um, border a little bit more into next week's topic than this week's. So, um, so this is the idealized picture of a battery. If you have an ideal voltage source that's uh, just uh, connected to an outside resistance or load, um, if that's the case, and this is a nine volt battery, you would say that the voltage drop across this thing is always nine volt. That's like, that's the function of a battery. And what we refer to as internal resistance is, um, is a refinement to this model. So I'm telling you that um, internal resistance of the battery is this. So instead of this model of a better, sorry, why did I write down nine volts, or 12 volts? Instead of this model of ideal battery that always up to 12 volts, no matter what, what is more realistic is this uh, uh, modified model of, model of battery, which can potentially provide up to 12 volts, but you model it so that it, um, so that there is a, a resistance that is internal to the battery. And I'm telling you that this is uh, 0 0.1 ohm. And when you start to model this, then you find that when you have a situation like this, the voltage drop across from this point to the, this point, it's not necessarily going to be 12 volts. Um, for example, if I set this load register to zero, then this is gonna be zero volt. Um, and, and as another example, if I, this is a numerical example I just happen to have memorized. If I set this load register to 0 0.1 ohm, then what this is going to be is, um, this is gonna be equal to six volts. And uh, you know, you'll know you know how to work it out next week if you don't know it already. And in this particular case, I guess uh, what's uh, easier to focus on is what the question tells you. Question tells you the amount of current. So as this um, amount of current flows through this circuit, um, when you apply Ohm's law, to this internal resistance, this is what you're going to get, that there will be a voltage drop going across this register. And the amount of voltage drop will be current times this internal resistance. So you work that out. You see that uh, for this amount of current, this amount of resistance, you know, it's a fairly small drop, I guess, 0 0.01 volts. So the terminal voltage here should be 11.99. Um, is that right? Yeah, 0 0.1 ampere, 0 0.10. That should be right. Uh, after I submit this, I wanna check something. Uh, let's see. Did I set custom tolerance here? <laughs> uh, I didn't set a custom tolerance. Yes, yeah, so this is way more forgiving than it ought to be. <laughs> um, if, if it's just fine. I think it's 12 gonna work. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, it's fine. Uh, I think it, yeah, I, there are other, uh, other randomizations where it's a little bit less forgiving than that. So 0 0.5 times 0 0.15, that's, a, um, that's a 0 0.07. So it the answer ought to be nine point, even that's still, yeah, okay, this, um, maybe I should have fixed this. You know what, let me fix it. Um, I, uh, so whoever already did it, good job. You don't have to redo it. Whoever hasn't done it yet, I think I ought to fix this. Because um, I this is my default relative tolerance, 1%. And it, most of the times it works. It really doesn't work well for the very last question. So this one here. Um, I think there, what I should have said is an absolute tolerance.
tolerance. And so let me do that. Uh, S tolerance. That's probably enough. Um, higher tolerance for, or stricter tolerance uh, for a larger value with a smaller deltas that matter. So, yeah. <laughs> so let me review. <laughs> So we do that correction. <laughs> um, if I read the question now, I actually have to do it correctly. I can just take 10 and put in 10 and uh, yeah. like, it, so, you know, it won't <laughs> still be right. I have to do, okay, 0 0.5, 0 0.15. So, um, so half of 0 0.15, 0 0.075. So it has to be, uh, 9.9, uh, 0.075, so 2.5. Um, yeah. And, you know, you still have some tolerance, like you can put in 9.93, and I think you can even put in 9.92, but you shouldn't be able to do 9.91. So 